In this video, we are going to learn about dynamic components in Vue. Dynamic components is a concept that is best understood with some background. So let's first understand the scenario we are looking at implementing for our example. In a web application, you might often need to create a tabbed user interface. For example, you'd have three tabbed buttons at the top and below the tabs, you would have some content. But the content is controlled by clicking on the individual tab buttons. If you click on the tab A button, tab A content is displayed. Click on tab B button, the corresponding content would be displayed and if you click on the tab C button, the corresponding content again would be displayed. Let's try to implement this in our view application. I'm going to begin by creating three new components in the components folder. Tab A dot view, tab B dot view, and finally, tab C dot view. Within the tab A dot view file, let's use the vbase CSS snippet to create a component. The component name is tab A. And in the template, let's add some text. Tab A content. Next, I'm going to copy the code here and paste it in tab B dot view and change tab A to tab B. Similarly, paste the code in tab C dot view and change tab A to tab C. Next, let's add the tabbed user interface in app component. First, let's import all the three components in the script block. So import tab A, tab B and tab C. Next, add them to the components list. Finally, let's add the template. For the tabbed buttons, let's add three buttons. So button, tab A, make two copies and change this to tab B and tab C. After the buttons, let's invoke the three corresponding components. All right, if we now save the file and take a look at the browser, we have the tab buttons, but all the three components are being rendered as the content. Let's go back to VS Code and make the changes to ensure only the active tab content is being displayed. In the data object, add a new property called active tab and set it to tab A. In the template, on each of the buttons, on click, let's update the active tab property. So bind to the click event and set active tab to tab A for tab A button, set it to tab B for tab B button, and set active tab to tab C for the tab C button. Finally, on the individual components, let's add a condition. V if active tab is equal to tab A for the first one, tab B for the second one, and tab C for the third one. So the appropriate tab is rendered based on the active tab value, which is controlled by the button clicks. If we save the file and take a look at the browser, by default, tab A is the active tab and its content is displayed. Click on tab B and the content changes and the same with tab C as well. We are able to change the content based on the active tab. Although this works great, you'll start to realize that this is not the best approach if we have a lot of components that we have to switch between. You would need to include every single component in the template and on each component add the vif directive to conditionally render it. For example, 
if you have a multi-step form where each form is presented under a tab, it is quite possible that you might have 80 tabs easily. So to help with this scenario, Vue provides us with dynamic components. Let's understand its syntax and usage. Let me comment out the component tags to begin with. Next, in the template, we are going to include a view-specific HTML tag called component. The role of this tag is to render a view component. And the way we inform this tag what component to render is through the is attribute. To this attribute, we bind the name of the registered component. So use the vbind shorthand. And on the right hand side, we assign the active tab property as it represents the name of the individual tabs when a button is clicked. We have tab A, tab B and tab C as the possible active tab values which corresponds to the registered components. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, our UI still works as expected. But this time, we have written lesser and better code. So that is about dynamic components in Vue. When you have a requirement to switch between components, you can make use of the component HTML tag with the is attribute to inform Vue of the component that has to be rendered in the UI. Dynamic components also reduce the amount of code you have to write, thereby making it easier to maintain your code in the long run. But there is one other advantage when using dynamic components in Vue. Let's see what that is in the next video.